Netflix original film is just at the streaming service this past Friday. The film is produced by Matt Reeves and Simon Kinberg, and the film is directed by F. Gary Gray, who directed films like Straight Outta Compton, The Italian Job, as well as Fate of the Furious and Ben in Black International. The film stars Kevin Hart as Cyrus, the leader of a heist team who goes after art. Uh, the, the, the team involved is Vincent D'Onofrio as Denton, Ursula Corbero as Camilla, Billy Magnuson as Magnus, Yunji Kim as Misun, and Vivek Kara as Luke. But the FBI needs to f find a way to get this gold off a plane that is heading towards our villain of the movie of Jorgensen, played by Jean Reno. So head of the FBI, Sam Worthington, sends in Abby, former fling of Kevin Hart's character, played by Gugu Mbatha Raw, to help with this heist mid-flight uh, on the way to Renault's character. The film is an hour and 46 minutes long and is PG-13. Welcome back to a brand new movie review here on Max 12, who's the first Netflix movie of the year that I'm reviewing here on the channel. What are your thoughts on Lyft? Let me know in the comments section down below. Did this break the heist genre? Did you like it, not like it? Let me know in the comments section down below. Like the video as well, guys, the thumbs up button. Also, please subscribe as always and ring that bell for notification when I drop more videos on the channel. I do movie reviews, TV show reviews, out of theater reactions, as well as my box office breakdown show every single Monday. So please subscribe, ring the bell. Uh, I am releasing this video on Tuesday. Uh, I filmed on Tuesday as well. Um, yesterday, the over the last couple of days, I've been under the weather. Uh, so that's why I did not do a box office breakdown show yesterday, but I feel okay enough to uh, do this review for you guys. Um, as I'll, I'll, my box office breakdown show will 100% be back this upcoming Monday. So Lyft was a movie that I did not know anything about other than Kevin Hart heist movie. And then I'm looking at the credits. I'm like, wow, Matt Reeves obviously just directed the Batman of, as well as the two last Planet of the Apes movies. And then you have Simon Kingberg, uh, Kinberg, who's a also a producer on this movie. Kinberg obviously is known for a lot of his X-Men work uh, from a writing perspective, um, including also a lot of writing credits for Simon Kingberg. Um with credits including writing, uh, for example, X-Men Days of Future Past and writing Mr. and Mrs. Smith, for example. So two pretty heavy hitters that produced. And then you have F. Gary Gray, who I mentioned his prior films. Uh, a pretty accomplished, but also has a mixed bag of movies as well, but uh, an accomplished enough director to do this movie. Then you have Kevin Hart. Uh, it's great to see um, Gugu Mbatha Raw, who's coming off of two seasons of Loki, you have Vincent D'Onofrio, you have Gene Renault, Billy Madison. So it's a really good cast. So I was actually got myself excited for the movie as the opening credits were going by telling me who's in the movie and stuff. Uh, but let's get my uh, general thoughts on my uh, thoughts on this movie. And overall, this is going to be one of those kind of forgettable heist movies. I think this is one of the toughest genres in Hollywood these days to get right, both in the movie and the TV series, because it's been done so well and they all kind of have that same formula. There's a clear lead, maybe co-lead in a heist team. Then you have kind of the other members, people who can be the tech people. Uh, there are people who can fly a plane. Um, you have all these different uh, specific things. One who can disguise themselves pretty good. Um, you always have these people that are just people, but you need to open them up with personality. And that's what I think what the Oceans movies did really well was that yeah, not just you have these mega star actors and famous people in the movie, but they all have their own personality to them that adds to their roles. The roles aren't just their personalities, they have the personalities in themselves. Slick made movie with characters that you care about. And I think that's a really tough thing to replicate because you've seen, especially on Netflix, just the same exact heist movies in every movie. This like Red Notice, for example, um, the one with Ben Affleck, I can't remember the name of, um, and even like Army of the Dead and the Army of Thieves movie, they do a lot of the same heist movies with putting famous people in a heist movie and just going with them. They all kind of feel the same, even though I did enjoy both Army of the Dead and Army of Thieves. Um, but this movie is going to fall in kind of the forgettable. This is not going to be one of the worst movies you'll see all year. Um, this movie, there's not one point where like this is just drastically terrible that's going on here. It's just kind of a lukewarm movie. There's no energy. And I think one of the weirdest parts about that is that I enjoy Kevin Hart, I do. Um, but this movie, he plays kind of the straight man with no comedy really in the movie whatsoever. Um, he has other characters, really Billy Magnuson kind of has to carry the comedy and he is definitely entertaining in this movie, uh, but not as entertaining as you've seen him in films like Game Night, for example. Um, but I was shocked to realize as the movie was going on that Kevin Hart was playing probably the most serious character 
in the entire movie other than probably Jean Renault's character. I mean, Kevin Hart does no comedy really in this entire movie. And that's shocking. And I think when you have a lead like this, it doesn't have to be just jokes to get for Kevin Hart. I think the, the script, and obviously I think from a creative perspective, his heart is also a producer. The character could have just had some funny quips um, or just charisma, I think, to him that could have popped. But Kevin Hart's character and his performance just stays in pretty much neutral. Because he's not funny, he's doing this downright serious performance. And I think the movie needed a lot more energy to it. And I think that would have helped if the lead character had also a little more energy to him. He's kind of a boring lead character of a heist. He's just the planner. He fights, but there's kind of just nothing to him other than he's the leader of people who can actually do do the dirty work. I think the best character by far, the only character that stands out um, is Abby, played by Gugu Mbatha Raw. She's very good in the movie. She has a moral dilemma going on because she is um, Interpol that's being put on a criminal heist team by the government. She also had a fling with Hart's character for a week in Paris a year before the movie took place. So there's romantic tension, there is moral dilemma tension, and she's the only one who has a, uh, an arc in this movie. The whole team are just the, are just the team. They just have their roles and that's kind of their characters. They have no interesting personalities or storylines. And I don't need every single member of the team to have this. We need to understand everything that's going on in their life to leave them up to this moment. I said, I said like oceans, you don't know half those characters, what they were before these heist movies, but they have interesting personalities and quips and dynamics of people, which keeps the movie with energy. But because these characters are just on, on the paper, just what job they are and part of the heist, as I said, the movie just doesn't have any energy because the characters of this heist team are just their roles. And I think that's a major slander to the writing team. Of course, that's just Daniel Kanka, who's credited as uh, the writer. Only his second feature film, at least as it says on IMDb, other than his first of 12 rounds back in 2009. So definitely a weird choice to have him be a part of the writing team, uh, the only person with this, with the writing credit on the movie, because I think the movie does struggle a lot with the script and the energy. Jean Reno just plays the most mustache twirling villain that has, other than he just kills people, that's why he's a bad guy in this movie. There's just no exploration of that character. Um, <clears throat> Sam Worthington as well just plays the obvious head of the FBI who seems like he could be helpful, but also seems like he's doing something behind the scenes that isn't good. Um, so I think this movie just stays in neutral throughout the entire film. There are some fun action scenes. The actual cast clearly has good chemistry with each other. And as I said, the movie's not bad in any way, not awful in any way is what I mean to say. Um, but it just feels like another run of the mill heist movie that adds nothing to the genre. Um, and it just does the same thing that every other forgettable heist movie does. So uh, overall, definitely a disappointing film when you have this much great people both on the, sc on the screen and also behind the, sc behind the scenes as well. Uh, so definitely a disappointing from that level. So overall, I'm going to give Left a two uh, out of five stars. I am going to go 43% for Left. Not atrocious, won't be in my bottom 10 of the year, but... Uh, this one is so going to be so forgettable. In a couple months, I'll forget. I probably even watched this one. So what are your thoughts on Left? And let me know in the comments section down below. Do you want to see more heist movies? What could the heist movie genre do to get back on track? Let me know uh, in the comments section. More videos coming up this week, and I'll see you there.